Hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. Here they want us to write the value of x in the equation below. And notice that we're dividing 4 to the 6th, a bigger power, divided by a smaller power, 4 to the 3rd. And that equals 4 to some exponent here. We're trying to find that exponent. So here, 4 to the 6th, right? We'll write as a fraction divided by 4 to the 3rd. Now, 4 to the 6th is, is four sixes, uh, 6 4s, excuse me, being multiplied. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 to the 3rd is 3 4s being multiplied. And we're dividing. Now, when we're multiplying like this in a fraction, uh, what we can begin to do is pair up numerators and denominators to cancel out, right? So these three pairs right here, 4 over 4, 4 over 4, and 4 over 4, are each 1, right? Anything divided by itself is just 1. So they, in, in a sense, cancel out because now 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1, and that, that being multiplied by anything else has no impact on the, the final product. So we essentially ignore these 1s and just write our new product, 4 times 4 times 4, which equals 4 to the third. So here, x equals 3. And, you know, the laws of exponents are beautiful in many ways. It's a beautiful system we set up because here um, we're dividing with the same base. So we subtract the exponents as a shortcut to get the new exponent with the same base. And it's beautiful because it's easy, but also because it's the exact opposite of what you do when you're multiplying. When you're multiplying with the same base, you add the exponents. And when you're dividing with the same base, you subtract the exponents. How awesome is that? All right, thanks.